I've been uh, running a survey over these past couple of months, actually, and I've, um, I've been giving out a, a, psychometrically, a special psychometrically validated uh, questionnaire which tests um, the, uh, the, uh, the, the presence of psychopathic traits within members um, of the general population. I've been giving it out to uh, friends of mine who are film critics, actually, and um, I've been asking them to, uh, to rate uh, various iconic figures. Um, in film uh, for where they, uh, where they fall on various characteristics. And uh, if we take, say, the iconic uh, spy figure James Bond, the, the, the British uh, uh, Secret Service agent 007 himself, uh, you find that James Bond is probably one of the most nailed down functional psychopaths that there is. I mean, James Bond is ruthless, he's fearless, uh, he's extremely focused, he's mentally tough, um, he's, of course, uh, uh, absolutely without conscience and remorse. He's one of the biggest philanderers uh, that's ever worked for the British Secret Service, although I couldn't say that uh, hand on heart officially, um, but I do know some of them. Um, but, um, I mean, James Bond is, is, is absolutely one of the classic examples of a functional psychopath. Those characteristics are being used to benefit society uh, rather than detract from society. You know, I've, um, I've interviewed uh, a lot of Special Forces soldiers and, uh, you know, what, in special forces, uh, you can't afford to, to dwell on the fact that you've pulled the trigger and killed someone. You know, if you do, then the next bullet could be going through your head. So you have to be very emotionally detached in kind of professions like that. Um, I mean, I think it was the writer George Orwell once wrote that uh, good men sleep soundly in their beds at night because uh, rough men stand ready to do violence on their behalf. Uh, and I think this is, this is exactly why uh, we need figures uh, such as such as James Bond, who, who you know, with a bit of poetic license, do exist in real life, and why we need uh, certain special forces troops as well. <laughs>